Welcome to part five in your free mini series on how to write a beauty business plan. I'm Lorraine Dahlmeyer and I'm the CEO of Formula Botanica, the online organic cosmetic formulation school. And in this series, I'm running you through the 10 simple steps to take to create a business plan for your beauty brand that you actually work with on a daily basis. Not a pointless document you never look at again, but a tool for you to use in your business. We also have a detailed blog post that goes with this video series, which is linked below. So make sure you bookmark that link so you can keep referring back to it. In this fifth video, I want to talk to you about your competitors. Now it might fill you with horror to know that your competitors deserve a place in your beauty business plan. Yeah, I'm not joking. Even though you, as the founder of your wonderful beauty brand, bring a unique perspective to what you do and why you do it, you still need to keep an eye on others in your niche and particularly keep an eye on how they're innovating and how they're pricing their products. If you ever seek funding for your brand, it will be one of the first questions that a potential investor will ask you, which is why you have to analyze your competitors in your business plan. I want you to think about their strengths and their weaknesses, as well as the products they sell, their price point, and then most importantly, how you think you can be different. It can be frustrating when you're researching your competitors as it firstly forces you to question your own business and your products and whether there's space for them in the market. And secondly, of course, what you're seeing from your competitors online is effectively PR speak. So you might not be getting the full picture of what's happening in their business. The best way around this is to look for interviews with their founders and mine their social media channels to learn more. Researching your competitors this way might make you feel a bit uncomfortable and question yourself, but believe me, knowing your competitors keeps you on your toes. It helps you identify areas where your brand can thrive and it shows you more effective ways to grow customer loyalty and build your business. Make this analysis part of how you operate. Don't obsess over your competitors because that's not healthy either. Just check in every few months or so to see what's happening in their world and then see how you can continue to make your brand stronger. If you need help figuring this part out, then we teach our whole lesson on this in our online diploma in beauty brand business management, which is linked below in the comments. This was part five in your 10 step mini series on how to write a beauty business plan. Now you've done a lot of the theoretical exercises, it's time to start thinking about how you build your business in practice. So the next video will be all about your manufacturing strategy. If you want to learn how to become a certified organic formulator, click on the link below to sign up for our free online organic formulation course. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on all of our other awesome content.